If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. Make sure you check out Poton Store. They have the new certain shield codes already available and they have automatic email delivery for these codes. You can get them in batches of 50 codes with a slight discount or individually for 89 cents each. They also have all these other promo codes. They have um, every other set you could imagine. And if you use Tailbone code, you get 5% off your final purchase. For the European players, Millibuds Gaming has everything from collectibles to all the latest cards from the latest sets, Cosmic Eclipse, Hidden Fates, and everything from Sun and Moon. Don't forget to check it out and use Tailbone code when checking out in order to get 5% off your final purchase. Welcome back everyone, welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TG Worlds 2020 to Road Darkness. Alright, so we'll keep this code for the next giveaway. I think that worked much better, like I'll be giving out three codes at the end of each video, okay? So you'll have the whole video to participate, or the whole deck performance to participate. Um, the new keyword is Firebox, okay? So all you need to do is type Firebox to be entered in order to win these one of these three codes yeah we'll pick three random people to win and so firebox i think um has a lot of potential especially in a <clears throat> in a meta game where uh dealing 300 damage to adp on turn two can be very big of course not being able to weld on turn one is now a big big issue for this deck but having one KOs, having ways to very easily ko <coughs> things like station um, in a metal dominated format, I think it's gonna have um, a big impact. So we have Reshisard, 270 HP, outrage 30 plus 10 more for each damage counter on Reshisard, Flare Strike, a solid 230, and Double Blaze 200, but if you have the three bonus energy, you deal 300, and you don't care about any effect on your opponent's active Pokemon, then you have Heatran GX with the Burning Road ability to absorb energy from the bench, we have Steaming Stomp dealing 130 damage as well, a very solid amount. And we have Hot Burn GX dealing 50 damage times the amount <coughs> of fire energy attached to this Pokemon. We have Turtonator dealing 50 damage for every fire energy you discard. We have Victini Prism with the Infinity Attack dealing 20 damage for every fire energy in your discard pile. And finally we have the new Turkle B. With the Combustion Pillar, that's not very good, right? Dealing 90 damage and then hoping to do 90 more. It might be good after you use Victini Prism, but probably not before that. But I feel like Steam Crush will crush a lot of people's hopes of winning. Because discarding 2 energy for everyone's active pull is actually pretty big. Um, you won't be able to just bench it and do it, so your opponent will have a turn to look at what's going on and prepare for it. But I still think it's worth including, it's also a V Pokemon, it has a lot, a lot more HP than, uh, well not a lot, it has 20 more HP than Heatran. Um, but yeah, I felt like using Torkoal would be uh, pretty nice. We have the Quick Bolts in the deck, they replace the Church Bolts which are much better because Quick Bolt can search for Zenit but it can also search for Vulpix. I can search for Jirachi or Jirachi or anything, whereas before the Church Bolts weren't enough. And we also have our 4 Pokecoms. <coughs> we have our 2 to 9 build line for Goth, we have our 3 Jirachi, I mean 3 to 10 and 4 Jirachi, and for Welder to um, get going along with the ways to find fire energies and switches. So let's jump into a ladder and see how... <laughs> I didn't have to make it, but I chose to make it. So remember, Firebox in chat gets you get to one of these three code cards. And as usual, big shout out to sponsors of the channel, Colton Store, Millibuds Gaming, and TCG Player. If you're needing any sort of shield cards, you can follow the link down below, finish your order on TCG Player, and it will be supporting the channel for free, which would be very, very appreciated, not gonna lie. And um, if you, um, if you buy anything on Poton Store, you can use Tableman code for 5% off. And likewise, in Millibuds Gaming, if you're from Europe and you're looking for any cards, you can purchase your cards on Millibuds Gaming and get a 5% um, discount of your final order by using the Tableman code. 
Yeah, big shout out to our sponsors. <coughs> Hola, Condor. All right. So, are we up against Octagon? We probably are. But I feel like with Night Tails, might not be the worst. Um, we see a doll. Yeah. Maybe this should be playing Ditto on something to deal with the obstacles. Okay. So, we can Welder. We can KO Jirachi with Heatran. We can KO Jirachi with Heatran. Okay, so I'm gonna start with Stellish actually, which seems weird, but it's actually not. Um, I'll go ahead and grab Gen Christ. <clears throat> okay. So... Oh, you know what? Turkle is insane against Obstacle, actually. So maybe I'll just do that instead. Yeah. Okay. SB, SBBA Tuber, thank you so much for the follow. Who can tell me <coughs> why Turkle is insane against, um, against Obstacle? Who can tell me that? Who can tell me why Turkle is pretty much makes this matchup an auto win, basically? Well, not necessarily, but it's pretty. It's gonna be pretty bad for my opponent, I feel. Um, yeah, and I definitely want to kill the Jirachi. So let's go ahead and establish a Vulpix. He just out of win the goons. Yes, but how? The question is, how do I out of win the goons? Uh, definitely the beginning. How, why do I auto win goons with Torkoal B? And Combustion Pillar, Discord Skateboard, not the biggest of deals. Goodbye, Jirachi, we take a prize. Being aggressive, I think, is also very important against them. Go second, Volcanion? No. What about Big Team B? I mean, you don't need to power up things in play, I feel. Not a big fan of Big Team B. Okay, so I've already had Candy, Energy, Obstagoon. Not much else, apparently. Does switch into Jirachi or Obstagoon? Jirachi, okay. Ooh, I'm close for the Marty. This is fine. Like, I just get another prize from the Jirachi, which is fair. Unless, unless I find my <laughs> Tilts to Energy. Unless my opponent doesn't find a switching card. Um. Yeah, this is gonna be pretty brutal. Like, even if my opponent attacks me, how do I win against Obstagoon? I win by, like, Obstruct says, prevent all damage done with Pokemon by attacks, right? However, discarding two energies is not damage. So when I discard the energies and then all of a sudden they can't attack, right? So yeah, that's gonna be pretty brutal for my opponent. I just need to make sure I have enough energies to like close out the game. Uh, the fact that my opponent didn't get an attack off is impactful-ish. Not the end of the world for sure for him. I mean for us, like it doesn't really change. Nine tails can attack through obstacles, yeah, but nine tails is terrible. Like dealing ninety, you would need to power up both nine tails, and that's not very nice. And then Steam crush your opponent's hopes and dreams of winning this game. <laughs> Removing energy is just gonna be way too powerful against my opponent. I can now just Steam crush into a win, 100% I feel. Um, unless my opponent gets enough flips with, um, with Tyrogue to then power up with Obstagoon and beat me. I'm not even sure. <laughs> um, like I have a bunch of energy. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have eighteen total. I should check how many are priced. Um, but I also have Victini to just put them back at some point and then just continue to bring things up with the nine deals. <coughs> so as long as there's six prizes, we should be fine. Ooh, very smartly goes after the nine tails. Um, don't think I'm gonna need an Archiachi. So there's eight, nine tails, 12, 13, 14. 
15, 16, 17. So there's one Fire Christ, not the biggest of deals. I feel like my opponent might have Rosa. I think I just KO here, honestly. Uh, Royal Meda, thank you so much for the follow. I'm just gonna KO. Steam Crush. Get a prize card, a Pokecon for Victini Prism. That's not bad at all. Okay. Now I have guaranteed Victini Prism. I feel like there's three prizes right there that I can take. Right? Unless my opponent attacks with obstacle. Um, which you would expect that to happen this turn, right? You would definitely expect that to happen this turn. <coughs> then I energy crush. And then he goes energy counter game. Hmm. Maybe that's how he beats me. Maybe that is how he beats me. Maybe I shouldn't have discarded the other full picks. That was also that might cost me actually. Oh well, 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 well. Evil tall GX. Well, 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 well. Yep, that's a dead turtle. So I guess you don't auto win Obstagoon. <laughs> I guess you don't actually auto win the Obstagoon. I mean. If I can find Welder, then I can go GXKO the obstacle with Reshi's art. And I have four prizes on board that are not obstacle. Five now. Well, but the Night Tales looks like it's gonna go down. Hmm, so maybe I was too eager. I was too quick to call it a win. I forgot about the evil doll. Okay, I need I really need welder here. Uh that's not welder. What nope. Ugh, that's bad. That is really bad. Um, can't discard all these energies. Ugh, this is bad news. This is bad news or ruining. Oh yeah! The GX attack hits through upside. Well, that is correct. That is actually correct. The GX attack does hit through obstacle. <clears throat> okay, don't forget to type Firebox in the chat in order to be entered into the giveaway. We have more people this time, but there will be three winners. Three, three winners. Okay, I put my just deal 20 damage here. That would be fantastic. Like, that would be a huge loss of momentum for him. <coughs> and you're right, the GX does indeed... Marnie is beautiful here because we get to look at the next 10 cards now, looking for that last welder. Because we draw, we see four that are not the ones that we had, then we get our top deck, then we still wish. And I actually don't giant card because I'm not actually thinning. Because all the cards that I put back that are not Welder. Yeah, so my chances of after my deck gets shuffled, my chance of finding Welder are not as high as they would be otherwise. Um now with the Dene, that's a different matter. Now I definitely Oh, I shouldn't have quick bolt. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I should not have quick bolt there. Oh well. I should not have quick bolt. I should have just did it changed. I should have just did it changed. Alright. Oh, silly Pablo. Silly, silly Pablo. Ugh. Yeah, definitely not out of one though, that's for sure. Did my button forget to use Tyro? That would be fantastic if he is forgetting to use Tyro. Oh no, he attacked me, that's why. <laughs> 
Oh, my nine fills is now gone though. So I can kill I can kill one off Sigrun, but maybe I can't kill the last one. Yeah, getting rid of the whole fix was another mistake. Hello Vix Mellow. Oh. I'm gonna have to dare change again. Well, if I hadn't quick vault for Victini, if I had just did it changed, I'm fairly sure I would have found Welder. Because I would have looked at, yeah, I, I definitely would have looked at Welder. Okay, we appreciate the Marty. <coughs> yeah, this might be GG. But with that hand, it's definitely GG. No way to find Jirachi, no way to get Welder. I mean, to find the Dene, no way to get Welder. Ugh. I messed up so badly. I messed up so badly and I also feel like I got a little unlucky. Yeah, I'm not winning. I messed up badly though. If I find Welder last turn and I take two prizes there and then I GX him, then he has one turn. Right? Then he has one turn. Um, prizing Welder, losing a Welder, not finding the Welder. Oh well. I still think that should be a fine matchup. But you. So I was too eager. Like, I. I I understood that Torgal B is going to be really good here, but then I should not have eagerly just immediately gone for it. I should have led with Heatran, let that go down, then bring in the Torgal B. And that's what I should have done. Oh well. <coughs> uh, Frank bye bye, Frank bye bye. La verdad, difícil, difícil responderte. <coughs> difícil responderte esa pregunta. Um, ¿Pensarías que Team Up On sería? ¿Pensarías que Team Up On sería lo, lo lógico? Pero muchas veces se han, se han asumido rotaciones lógicas y <coughs> hacen lo que quieren, entonces no tengo idea. Y como no va a suceder hasta, hasta agosto y hay muchos torneos de por medio, pues difícil, difícil decirte la verdad. Okay, <coughs> so we're obviously gonna dare change this hand away. And I think we're not gonna pitch the other Reshi's hard, even though there's a chance the active just goes down. My opponent doesn't seem to have the most... the most impactful start, right? By going first, which is great. Right, Turkle might be, well it, nah, okay, there of energies, well it might be, it might be decent, might be, very big might. If I use my GX turn 1, if I use my GX turn 1 I can take two prizes, but I don't think that's how, I don't think that's how I'm gonna win the game, I do find well there very nicely. I feel like I saved my GX for when I can do it for um, for six energies, one KOing a tag team, and then <coughs> I go for. Oh, I should have set up Vulpix probably. Well, no, yeah, I should have set up Vulpix. Another mistake. Definitely should have set up the Vulpix. Um, preset stamp, I don't mind that, so it's either research or Tetene here. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay. Okay, so he's actually trying to draw cards with a custom catcher. Alright. So 
so firebox in the chats. Don't forget, there's not too many people in the giveaway, so your chances of winning are fairly, fairly decent. This will obviously not be very nice. Uh, frankly, Bay, all you need to do is type Firebox in the chat. Just give it Firebox in the chat, you list them. Give it Firebox in the chat, you list them. Todo lo que tienes que hacer, y al final de el showcase de Trek, elegiré a tres diferentes personas para que cada quien se lleve un código. Um, okay, so actually gets the full blitz off. Not bad, not bad. That custom gacha for one led to what you are seeing. And that's, I guess, the power of the drum. But another benefit of running custom catchers instead of program catchers, I guess, the draw effect. It can be impactful in certain situations for sure. As we are seeing right now, right? As we are seeing right now. Now, all right. So there's a full blitz. There's the counter stadium. Totally benching this. I don't think there will be time for Turtonator. Put back the welder, and at least I need to hit for two thirty. Do I? Oh no, I don't need to switch. I thought I needed to switch because I thought I was getting paralyzed, but in fact I was not paralyzed. Alright. So this is pretty nice. I have two energies in the discard ball only so far. So I'll grab these two, and then I'm gonna go ahead and quick wall for Jirachi. Yeah, Turkle D is just... I should not have finished that guy. And do I switch into Drachi? Yeah, let's go ahead and establish. There's no Absol, so that's fine. Grab the Welder for next turn. I mean, this basically prompts a, or forces, <clears throat> a stamp from my opponent. <coughs> the prize is on the fact that I already have Welder. It's not the biggest of deal because you should expect that anyways. And getting the switch out of the way means I don't get switch when I'm looking for um, for the game winning pieces. And because I don't have another tag team in play and there's no more threat of tackles, this should be fine. Right? I have two turns to find the win. So I can like actually attack and then attack. Alright. We'll get a Stella Wish. Hello, Finus Manko. Hello, Josh. Thank you so much for being here. <clears throat> I have a giveaway going on where you can type Firebox in the chat and you can win one of these three code cards. <coughs> Alright. So we see the switch. Hey Choo Choo, I feel like you still GX though, right? Far Shadow, that's fine. Or are you greedy and you don't GX? I mean, at some point that will have to be in the active, right? You don't want Coco to in the active. Yeah, fun and shot. Alright. So I have 9 fire energies in the discard ball. I need 13. Right? I need 13, and I have the Dene and Giant Heart and Welder, so we'll see. 
Okay, definitely wanna play this. Definitely wanna think. There's six energy left in my deck. So I wanna welder. I can win this turn. Ugh. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So if I find an energy of all the data change, I just win, right? 10, 11, 12, 13. So I'll thin a trainer. And here goes nothing, right? I have four energy left in the deck. I'm drawing six cards. I need one fire to win the game right here. There we go. Plenty of fires. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Still pretty powerful. <laughs> Still pretty powerful. Still pretty powerful. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. All right. So that will be all for Firebox. And that will be all for Firebox. And I think for today's stream very short stream today <coughs> but i should be streaming tomorrow and i'm hoping to make it a longer one so we're gonna go ahead and pick the three winners for the codes last chance to type firebox in the chat going in five four three two one you know there's a delay in the chat all right so our first winner is Vex Mello and thanks so much for a follow AJ. Our next winner is Pessimist or Pessimist. And our final winner is Vex Mello who just won, so we can't have two winners in the same giveaway. So Alex, Alex is our final winner. Yeah? Alright, so I will send you your code cards. Thanks so much to everyone who's watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you tomorrow for more Sword and Shield decks. Bye-bye.